Nike Mercurial Vapor 14 or Adidas X Ghosted Plus? Which is the better football boot? And more importantly, which one should you buy if you're on the market for a speed boot? That is what I'm gonna try and help you figure out today as I'm pitting Nike's latest and greatest Mercurial Vapor 14 against Adidas's X Ghosted speed boots. And to be uh, transparent here, I'm gonna talk about both the X Ghosted Plus, that is laceless, and the X Ghosted Point One that has laces. What else do you need to know? Right, price. So the Vapors are 250 euros, whereas the X Ghosted Pluses are 280 euros, and the Point Ones are 220 euros. And in terms of weight, which is also kind of important because they're speed boots, well, the Vapors are the heaviest, coming in at 205 grams, with both of the Adidas X Ghosted boots weighing 189. But seeing that they are kind of comparable, and all of them are speed boots, which is the better one? Well, this is the Vapor 14 versus X Ghosted boot battle. And we're gonna find out. Now for starters, let me put it this way. The Mercurials and the Xs have probably never been more similar than they are now. And that's actually a really good thing because all of the boots here are brilliant speed boots and arguably some of the best, if not the best speed boots the brands have ever made. They all fit your feet really well, they're super thin and very minimalistic, and while the upper constructions are different from an engineering point of view, they all give you a relatively soft and pliable fit once you've broken them in. Now the vapors here are made with this componentized vapor posset upper that you can really see called out on the Dragonfly colorway, while the X Ghost Plus has the Mirage skin and the Point Ones have the floral skin. And right when you get them out of the box, I do feel that the floral skin on the Point Ones here is a little bit more pliable, a little soft and just feels better, closely followed by the Mirage skin on the X Ghosted Pluses. But to be fair, the Vapors, they come after it. And once you break them in, all of the boots feel relatively similar in how soft they feel around your feet. Now that means that you get a pretty constricted and tight feel that feels very close to the foot. In the sense that uh, none of the uppers here are gonna stretch like you would expect leather to normally do. In terms of lockdown, I would say that all of the boots here are okay, but I would also rank them saying that the Vapors are the best. It feels like they hold your feet in place a bit more effectively, and then they're relatively closely followed by the X Ghost to point ones because, you know, these don't have laces. Another thing to look at is how the Vapors are actually a little bit wider in the midfoot compared to the X Ghosteds. And also, taking a look at the heel package here, the X Ghosteds have these big foam heel parts that you don't see as prevalent in the Vapors. And that also means that the fit in general in the X Ghosteds is a little tighter and hugs the foot a little more closely compared to that in the Vapors. Now, some people are gonna really like that skin tight, very snug sensation, while others might find it a little bit too claustrophobic, especially if you have flatter or wider feet. And in that case, I think you'll enjoy the slightly more roomy sensation in the Vapors a bit more. So that means that the X Ghosters might feel just a tad more nimble and on your toes and I would say ballet dancer-like that the Mercurials used to feel like. And while the Vapors they do a lot of that as well. They just feel slightly more accommodating and a little less restrictive. So it depends on what you like. Of course, the Mercurials have a fly knit color, meaning that it wraps the bottom part of your ankle really closely like a low cut ankle sock. It's, it is essentially a sock. On the X's, on the other hand, you have this slightly more traditional and open fit, which means that you don't feel it as closely and tightly around the bottom part of your foot. Now the Vapor tongue here is also a little bit more stretchy, meaning that uh, the Vapors are a bit easier to get on. That matters to some people, I guess. For sizing, I went true to size in the Mercs and got an absolutely perfect fit. And I've actually found that in the X's, going up half a size is the right thing for me to do because I feel a bit more comfortable. I definitely could go true to size in these, but they would just be very, very, very tight. And uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit too old for that amount of tightness. 
Now finally guys, there is the elephant in the room, the weight difference. Do you feel that the vapors are 15 grams heavier on your feet? Well, yes, you do, it is noticeable, but while I would have liked the materials to be in that 190, 195 gram range, it's not a deal breaker, for me personally at least, that they weigh a little bit more. So if you like that really nimble on your toes, lightweight sensation, all of these boots are gonna be fine. And in the grand scheme of things, I think you're gonna like them all. And of course, because the construction is so similar to be fair, the touch on the ball is also going to feel, you guessed it, similar. Meaning that you get this very barefoot-like close and raw one-to-one -one sensation in both the x ghosts and in the materials. With that said, I definitely prefer the materials here simply because they have more texture and thus simply a more effective grip on the ball because of the texture you get here from the mesh component, which compared to the X's is it, it's just more effective because, I mean, it's not a lot of texture going on on these two uppers. You can even hear it. Texture. Not so much texture. So, uh, so that's the way it is. With that said, I do think that the X Ghosteds uh, feel a little bit thinner in the upper, meaning that you get slightly closer to the ball. But I also think we're talking minor nerd details here, and I don't think that many people will really care that much about that difference. These are thinner, these have more grip. Finally, we have the outsoles, which is going to get tasty and interesting because this was really where Adidas and the ex-ghosteds set themselves apart with the introduction of the Carbitex outsole when the boots came out last year. With this really very stiff Carbitex carbon plate in the boot to give you a very aggressive snap that push you on your toes and really propel you forward when you accelerate. But Nike and the materials are Striking back because they have their newly developed Aero Track 2.0 spine that goes throughout the entire midfoot that stiffens up the forefoot and also gives you a really, really respectable snapback. So which is better? Well, it's, um, it's boring to say, I realize, but these two are the best when it comes to a speedy outsole out there, hands down. I will say this. I think that the X-Ghosteds are a little bit they feel slightly faster, they feel more like a track spike, a little bit more responsive when you push yourself forward. However, I do like the material studs a bit more, and I think that the overall outsole and tooling is just a bit more generally appealing compared to the X's. So if you're just looking for raw speed, the X's win barely, slightly more aggressive, but as for outsoles in general, I like the Mercs better. So then, you have to decide. So Jay, which is the better boot? Well, <laughs> it's actually pretty difficult because they're all re Just buy all of them and be happy? Well, no? Okay, well, for me, when it comes to choosing the best speed boot, I would go for the X goes to point once. They have decent lockdown, obviously. They have lasers, so they're better than these. Uh, they're really nimble and they feel ever so slightly faster than the materials do. With that said, however, I think that the Mercs are generally the better boot because they're slightly more comfortable, they fit a little bit wider, and still they give you that very fast and extremely aggressive feeling that a pair of materials should give you. So this is the best boot overall, whereas the X-Coaster Point Ones is the best dedicated speed boot, for me at least. Of course, you can also give a very cheeky shout out to the Puma Ultra 1.2s, which are ridiculously lightweight, very, very comfortable, and uh, they're 200 euros, so um, yeah, it's your call. But whichever of the boots you decide to get, you can get all of them from unisportstore.com in the link right over there. These you can get from the 1st of February, and these are already available. Of course, also don't forget to tell me which of them you like more in the comment section right down below. And before you bounce, make sure you've subscribed to the channel with the notifications on, and then go learn some skills in the playlist right over there. With that said, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.